the morning. So today I'm going to be testing, reviewing, and doing an all-day wear test on the brand new Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint. Now this just recently launched and I couldn't wait to test it out on our mature skin. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. How you doing? Oh my gosh, you guys, it is 7.47 a.m. and I am serious about testing out this new skin tint from Danessa Myricks. Now you know I love testing out tinted hydrators, tinted moisturizers, foundations for our mature skin. So when this recently launched, I couldn't wait to see if it worked. Now the reason why I was so interested in this particular skin tint is because it contains ceramides, peptides, it's supposed to strengthen and protect the skin barrier. It's also supposed to color correct your skin. You can also mix it into your everyday foundation for that glowy skin. So yeah, so let's just jump right in. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my complexion with the new Wet n Wild Primer Serum. I have been really enjoying this serum primer. It really just does something magical to the pores. But I'm just gonna add one drop. It's a serum, so is that too serum-y? Serum skin tint, serum. I feel like this particular primer tightens my pores, if that makes sense. But it's just a really light serum that just goes into the complexion, is quickly absorbed, and it's under $9. It gets really hot and humid here in Tennessee, so I thought it would be the perfect time to test out this skin tint. Plus, it's summertime, we want lighter coverage. We tend not to wear a lot of heavy makeup including myself, but yes, this serum skin tint sounded really good, so let's dive in. Now the ingredients are pretty simple. It's vegan, it contains squalane, water, glycerin, and dimethicone. Now, I have tried out her regular Yummy Skin Foundation. I was not a huge fan of it because it's full coverage. It was kind of dry and cakey on my mature skin. Now, if you're new to my channel, I do have normal to dry skin. I do have hyperpigmentation, but you know, I noticed during the seasons like summer and winter, my skin changes. Our skin is always changing. I noticed recently that my skin is getting really oily. Maybe it's because of the humidity. Hormones are changing constantly. So I have to switch accordingly between foundations and skin tints and sometimes primers because that does contribute to your complexion and how your skin is reacting. So this retails for $36. And the, the cool thing about this is you actually get 1.58 fluid ounces. Now the standard is one fluid ounce. So this is actually quite a good deal if you like it. So yeah, I'm gonna shake it up really, really well. Very simple, this is what it looks like and I am in the shade five. And it comes in a squeezy tube, and I'll show you the consistency. Now this is supposed to boast light coverage, radiant finish, and yeah, let's just get it on my face. <laughs> I've been testing out a lot of skin tints recently. Most recently, the Maybelline skin tint, I actually really like that, but this definitely has a thicker consistency than the Maybelline and it has a thicker consistency than the Iconic London, but this feels more like a foundation. It really applies smooth, but it doesn't feel heavy. It, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my dampened beauty sponge. Wow, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Now, if you want to get more coverage, you can always use a foundation brush. And I haven't tried it with a foundation brush on my left side and see if there's a difference. Wow, that is so pretty. And I'm just stippling it in. Okay. I'm glad I did this because usually I've been applying this with the dampened beauty sponge. This is the first time I've used my foundation brush and just stippling it in. I really think I like the foundation brush better. Which side do you like better? I don't know, this is nice because of course when you use your foundation brush, you're gonna get a little bit more coverage because your dampened beauty sponge is gonna soak up the product. It's gonna give you a more sheer coverage on this side and a little bit more coverage on this side. But I think both sides look really pretty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the rest of the skin tint and go in. Oh, this is really pretty. This is also fragrance free. So I know there's some of you out there 
that don't like fragrance in your products, I don't smell anything, it's definitely fragrance free. So I'm gonna go ahead and just stipple this in. Wow, I really like using the brush on this one. Now, as you can see, this is light coverage. I love the radiant finish on the skin tint, but as you can see, you can easily build it up. I feel like some of my hyperpigmentation is covered up, but still my skin is peeking through. It just looks, my skin looks healthy. So what I'm gonna do next, I need to put on some concealer. For concealer today, I'm gonna go in with the LYS Triple Fix Serum Concealer. I'm in the shade MN3. This is a great little concealer. It has light to medium coverage. It's hydrating. Just put a tiny bit where I need to cover up some dark circles. I'm gonna go ahead and tap it in. This concealer is great. I've forgotten how good the LYS concealer is. Pretty good. We are looking so good right now and it's so early. Oh my gosh, it's not even eight o'clock. Is it eight o'clock? I don't even know. For bronzer, I'm just gonna go in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer. It doesn't have any shimmer or glitter in it. It just looks so smoothing on the skin and it smells like cocoa. I don't know why, I just love it. I know, I know. When I test out foundations or skin tints, I like using products that I'm familiar with. So if there's an issue with the complexion, I know it's gonna be something new, which is going to be the skin tint. I've been really enjoying this bronzer. So like I said, if something goes wrong with the complexion, I know it's going to be the skin tint. Because everything I'm using on my face are tried and true, and quite frankly, some of my favorites. And then I'm gonna go in with a cream blush. Now this is from About Face. I did a review on these blushes a couple of weeks ago and these are cream to balm formula. Oh, they're so silky, so beautiful, so pigmented. And this is in the shade Champagne Room. And I'm just gonna tap it right through there. These have fantastic pigment. They're very hydrating and silky smooth on the complexion and they don't add additional texture to your skin. I think that's why I love it so much. And you don't have to warm it up with your fingertips. It just immediately is so balmy and silky. I also picked up the purple one. That one was super fun. Today, we're gonna go for your everyday summer easy look because I wanna focus on the complexion. And so far, the complexion is looking really nice. Now, to set, my complexion. I'm gonna go in with the Essence 16 Hour Cover and Last Powder Foundation. This is a great all over foundation, but you can also set your under eye areas and your problem areas with this. Oh my gosh, so good, so silky. I'm just gonna take a flat brush, take it, tap off the excess, and press that concealer in and smooth everything out. What I've noticed using the skin tint for the last week is that it tends to get very oily. And like I said, I have normal to dry skin. So you definitely want to set this skin tint. And if your skin runs a little oily, definitely take that into consideration. And would you believe Matt helped me pick out the shade on the website? He's kind of cute. He's like, yeah, that one looks like your skin tone. Complexion is done. My skin looks luminous. You know, honestly, it just looks healthy and that's what I love. It looks even. I mean, they're not kidding about color correcting. I don't know what's in this, but it's definitely giving my skin life. It looks juicy, it has a radiance about it. This is really, really pretty. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and pop on the rest of my makeup and I'll take you throughout my day while we test out this skin tint. And here we are with the final look. Now, I just did a super easy eyeshadow look with the new 10 pan eyeshadow palette from e.l.f., the Summer Breeze All Matte Palette. I will be doing a full review on these eyeshadow palettes in my Sunday upload. Just used two shades, and then for lips, I went in with e.l.f.'s Hydrating Core Lip Balm in the shade Delightful. Like I said, this is a wear test. I wanted to focus on the complexion, and I'm gonna be reviewing it for 12 hours. I wanna see if it has longevity. I wanna see how it lasts on my complexion. Is it going to oxidize? oxidize, but so far it looks so pretty on the skin, worked great with all the products. 
I mean, I can't complain. But yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go about the rest of my day. I've gotta feed the dogs. I gotta go to work because I work from home. But yeah, we will do some check-ins and I will let you know by the end of the video if this is worth $36 and if it works for our mature skins. Okay, oh, I need some coffee. Mm. Time to feed the animals. <laughs> long day. It's been 12 hours since I first applied the Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint from Danessa Myricks and I'm ready to give you my final thoughts. Now this is after testing the skin tint for the last several days and I've played around with it with different primers, uh, different finishing powders and I wanted you to see up close and personal and turn down my lights. It hung in there really well. 12 hours, no touch-ups. I ate breakfast, lunch, snacks, had my coffee, drank about eight glasses of water today because it's super hot here in Tennessee. But as you can see, ever so slightly, it's breaking up around my mouth. Now, is that a deal breaker? Not really, because if you think about it, I didn't do any touch-ups and I did a lot of eating and, you know, that's life. You eat, you drink, and it's gonna break up a little bit around your mouth. It didn't really settle into my fine lines, which I'm shocked, but I'll tell you what, my natural oils started to come out and it was just like an oil fest. Now I noticed with using other primers, it was really oily, almost to the point of looking greasy. Matt the other day was like, it kind of looks like a grease fest on your face. And it was because I used a different primer. Today I used the Wet n Wild Primer Serum, the pore refining one. This one did excellent in tightening my pores. It just laid smoothly on top of it. But as you can see, there are a lot of my natural oils peeking through, looking a little oily, looking a little greasy. Now, to me, after 12 hours, I kind of expect that, especially in the hot, humid weather here in Tennessee, it's not actually a deal breaker. And I think the Essence 16 hour cover and last foundation, powder foundation did an excellent job at keeping my oils at bay till about right here. This was about five hours. You can see my natural oils peeking through, but I think it hung in really well. It all depends on how you prep your skin, what primer you use with this particular skin tint and what type of finishing powder you use. And that sounds like a lot of work because it's a skin tint. You should be able to just apply it and go, right? Well, if you want it to make it last, if you really want it to make it look seamless, I think those are the steps you're gonna have to take using this serum skin tint. Now remember, it does retail for $36. It comes in 16 shades. You do get 1.58 fluid ounces, which is not the norm. So you're getting quite a good deal. It has skin loving ingredients. It is also supposed to color correct as well. I'm in the shade five. I think this was a beautiful shade for my complexion. I would be interested in trying it in some of my matte formula foundations and see how it blends with that. But this is a really, good contender. If you want to get technical and see how it looks when we go ahead and touch it up, I'm just going to take a little bit more of this, of the essence powder, just fix it up a little bit and see how quickly I can get those oils at bay. I mean, easy peasy. Like I said, it did break up around my chin area, around my mouth area, but you know what? It hung in there. It is a great contender. This is actually a great little skin tint, but I think it's lovely. I think it's very pretty. This is definitely gonna go into the ranking of my tinted hydrators, skin tints. I mean, we've got a lot of skin tints to go through and I'm super excited to put them all to the test and rank them. So that will be an upcoming video. 
But thank you so much for hanging out with me today, seeing a little bit of my life, seeing my puppies, seeing me at work. It was a busy day and I'm just glad I got to share a little part of my life with you. So if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing. I would love it if you'd be a part of our family. So mwah, mahal kita. I love you and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.